the situation with Joe Public. Uh, I'm going to talk about this very briefly and I'm going to re-upload the video. He was arrested early hours of the morning for not appearing in court, failure to appear. But he'd already instructed the court that he wasn't going to go anywhere. So he, 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 he fulfilled that um, part of the process for himself and for the courts. Never mind, the police in their infinite wisdom decided to attack him, assault him, early hours of the morning. And for what? Because he didn't appear at court. That's why. But he did. So, you've got to look at, you, you've got to sort of like step back from this and think about what is going on here. What is going on is three things. One, they knew about it but decided to ignore it because they think Ben is a pain in their ass. Two, they didn't know about it and carried on regardless. And three, they knew about it, and this is the kicker, they knew about it, they knew about the crisis, everyone knows about the crisis, everyone knows about social contact distancing, everybody knows about this virus can kill people. Do not, you know, let yourself think, Ah, oh, it's only the old people. No, it isn't. It is every age group. It's just all less in percentage terms for the under seven, under sixties. So one misconduct in public office. Absolutely yes. He was attacked, violently assaulted, cuffs put on him, and taken to the police station. Now these he comes the serious one. They know the distance thing. They know that they're not supposed to touch each other. They've been told by the government. What do they do? They totally ignore that. And maybe it's not too far-fetched to think they did it on purpose. Knowing full well that they are potential carriers of the coronavirus, but still went to his address. They knew this. That is a premeditated decision. Knowing full well that they are possible carriers. Now, they're also going to an address that are possible carriers too. <clears throat> Think about the people, the rest of the people in this house. They've put them at risk. So, we have this situation where police know that they have to police the coronavirus. They have to still go with the law but in this instance they chose to go at you know early hours of the morning put him in serious risk of the coronavirus putting themselves in st severe risk of the coronavirus but remember police are very unusual people they don't live in the same rules as us they think they can stop a speeding car with their body because they are police they know this so the thing is, the thing that disturbs me greatly here, that the that every decision came coming from that chief, police chief in that particular force area should be immediately removed from office. Every one of them, everyone on that shift who knew about this should be removed from office. They should be taken away. They should be suspended on no pay whatsoever because they deliberately, premeditated, maliciously went and put them into Joe's place. They exposed him and everybody else around them. Don't tell me that these people didn't know what they were doing. They knew exactly what they are doing. They know what they've done. This is absolutely got to stop. It's not like he's a murderer. It's not like anything like that. It's nothing. It's a piddly court problem. That's all. And yet look at them going in heavy handed, putting him at risk. And everybody else in that place, that home, at risk. I find that utterly disgusting and extremely dangerous.
it's a place. If I like the door now, I'm going to put it in. Then you've got five seconds. Ben, it's currently a warrant out for your arrest. Alright, mate. At least my time, you're under arrest. Sufficient. If the door sort of shuts a little bit, he'll give it a go. We'll we'll sit down the stairs. Ben, you'll take like some of the stuff. Ben, you're right. Is he king guy? Not really, no. Ben, that's it. And then you just shut the door and then we'll see. What's up, Ben? Why do you want me to do anything for you? Well, they're fucked the door, right? Yeah, yeah. No, Ben, we'll, still, well, 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 hold on. Well, Let, can't get out of the door. Just shut the door. Yeah, shut the door. Ben, Ben, I'll talk out the cat, yeah, you'll be all right. Can you can hear me now, Yeah. Are you, uh... Is it, is it, is it? No. You're not going to fucking hold me. Yeah, as long as she can't get out. All right, she can't get out. As long as you're fucked now, Ben, and your name is out. Yeah, you couldn't. No, it's not fucked now. That's all right. Food's in the cupboard and that. Oh, mate, sorry. It's going to be a long one. Oh, mate. Yeah, you're fucking terrible. 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 Yeah, you're fuc